and I heard a voice say to me, you have not fulfilled your purpose here. And I said, what was my purpose? It was like a knee-jerk reaction. It was like a, I didn't really think about it. I just, but I did want to know. I was curious. I didn't have a clue. I truly didn't have a clue how to live, what life was about, what it was to be a man, or what my goals or purpose could have been. So I said, what was my purpose? And this voice said to me, the same as every man, you were put on the earth to take care of the earth. And come to find out later, Adam did tend the garden and keep it. Even before the fall, he had work to do. We as men are here to take care of the earth. It's one of our responsibilities as men. And that was very personal. He said, you, you're not to strip mine the earth. You're not to pollute the earth. You're not to destroy your home. And I was being indicted because I was responsible. I was a litterer. I was one that didn't care about nature or environment at all. And this was a beautiful home that God had created for me to live and enjoy. And he said, secondly, you're here for the animals. They look up to you. You're the one with the spirit. You're the one with reason, with intelligence, with the strength to change things, the ability to protect them and take care of them and do for them. They don't have that ability. And yet you destroy species after species. And I knew that I was responsible, partly responsible. I had hunted for sport. I had no concern for animals. I never showed any compassion for animals. I didn't have any compassion for animals or men. And he said, thirdly and most importantly, you're here for each other. And you, this imperative, you, uh, I sent to be part of the answer. You've just been part of the problem. And I couldn't do anything with that because it was on my shoulders and I was just grieving over it. But this, this faded away too and he began to try to teach me 